Hello my viewers and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can create filters and how you can use them on your project. Now, this is an example project, it's a structural project of course, but if you are in a different field like, you know, mechanical, electrical, plumbing or architectural, please just watch, you know, these steps. The procedure is the same to, for you to create filters in any discipline. So this is the model that we are going to use. And as you can see, we have different colors here. These were created by the filters. And for you to create a filter, you know, you can use, you know, any parameter, different parameters can be used. And you, I'm going to explain on what I mean by using parameters, okay? It could be a type name, it could be a function, or even by the size, you can create such parameters. So filters will help you to set the graphics, okay, of these elements, okay? You can set the graphics, you can turn on and off certain things so filters are very very important and you need to know on how to use the filters so if you like what i'm doing on this channel please don't just watch my videos make sure that you subscribe to this ch channel turn on the bell notification so that you are notified if i upload some new videos so without wasting time let's get started in this tutorial So before I proceed, I just want to ask anyone who is interested in learning Revit for steel structures. I have a complete course where I've worked on a real project we, where we are, you'll be able you learn on how you can detail, you can model and detail a full structural steel project. So if you're interested in learning Revit for steel structures, please check the link in the description. You might be interested. Okay. So as I've mentioned, we are creating filters once again, but I'll move away from this one because I want to show you where I'll be working from. For, from this one, this is the model that we want to create our filters. So if I go to this model and I go to view, you see that we have the filters there. If I click there, you see that these are the filters that I've created. The first three there and the fourth one is here. The other ones are just will just come by default. Okay, I'll close this one. So this is where you create your filters from. If I open under the visibility graphics, I can still go to filters, okay, and you see that I have the filters that I created. And as I said, this is where you control all the graphics, you know, turning on and off certain things, as you can see from here. So I'll close it. Now I can also go to VG, type VG, then go to filters. I'll still go to the same box. So I'll go to the other model so that if I go to VG and click on filters, you see that there's nothing. So as I mentioned, you need to know the parameter that you want to use for your filter. So I'll just demonstrate on this beam. Okay, I have this beam, which is 406, 140, 39. Okay, 406, 140, 39. So just go to VG, go to filters, then click on edit new. Then from here, click on new. Then I'll name it as 406, 140, 39. So that I should be able to identify it. So this is the name of this filter, and that is the type name that I want to use, okay? So I'm going to use the type name to create this filter. I'll click on OK. You see that it's right here. Then under the category, of course, this is a structural project. I just want to leave the parameters which are in the category structure. So depending on what you are doing, you can choose there. I'll just pick structural. Then I'll go to the category. That is a steel beam, so I'll go to structural Framing, so as you can see, I have structural framing. Check it. So pick the category from here. Then right here, I'll pick the first rule. All rules must be true. And then in brackets, all rules must be true. That's the one that I want to pick. I'll leave this one the way it is. Then in the second box, I want to use, remember what I picked, that one is a type name, okay? So I want to pick a type name from here. Then this box, I want the type name to be equal to this one because that's what I want to pick. So I'll pick equals. So from here, you see that, you know, it's like, you know, programming, you know, those who've done programming, these are some of the, you know, the rules that you use. So I just want this to be equals. Then I need to pick the type name. But the type name, which is this one, I just need to find it. That's why I was even typing it here, which is 406 139 which is, where is it? Okay. Okay, 406, 149 is right there. Then I'll simply click on apply and click on OK. So that one is created, but now you need to add it. Just click on add there. Then you see that you find it there. Then click on OK. 
you see that how the face filter now i just want to add some color there i think the only thing that i want to change is the color under the patterns you can change the transparency you can change the lines and this is under the cut and the projection so i just want to use the patterns there then just change to solid view and change the color to i want to use that one click ok ok apply ok as you can see i've created my face filter and it's colored as you can see from here so I'll do the next one. I'll simply pick that one there, 254, 146, that one. 254, 146, that one. I'll go there, then go to filters, then edit new. But instead of changing all these, I can simply duplicate this one. The one I picked is 256, 146, that one. I'll simply duplicate this one. Then just right click and rename its code two uh two fifty six by one forty six ah uh, okay i'll check it i think i've done something else i'll click on apply okay then click on okay i need to check it once again two fifty four one forty six state one let me select all these so all these will be you know given that filter 254 146 31 okay 254 actually i'm even able to see it from here so don't know why i'm struggling when i can even see it from here so i'll go to edit new and it's right there then right click then i'm going to rename it once again 254 146 so 254 one four six and three one okay i just missed one figure then click ok so you can see that there then of course the structural is the same all i need to change at the end is now this one which is two five four where is it one four six three one is right there then click on apply okay then click on add you have to add it and pick it and click on add you see it appears there then i can simply change the color by going to the pattern you know solid fill then change the color to maybe green click on ok ok apply ok as you can see that one has changed so this is how you can add all the filters now let me also demonstrate on how i can add the filter to a concrete element i'll use the base this one as you can see this is 2626 by 400 okay as the type name 2626400 i'll just go to vg then go to filters i'll pick the new one then i'll just duplicate one instead of changing here and there i can just duplicate there okay duplicate from there is this one right click rename i think it's 1616300 is it 26 i think 26 okay 26 by 26 by 300 that is the name okay now i'll click okay but this one is not a structure framing i need to go down there okay here and pick structural foundation because for this one it's a structural foundation so i'll select this one also and while maintaining that one then the type name is okay then I'll go eco, eco sign is okay. Of course, once you change this one, this one will be active. Now you see that, but before I proceed, let me show that if I don't have structural foundation checked, I'm not going to find, you know, that, you know, you know, footing. But the moment I turn on this one, then go there, you see that that one in concrete, oh, it's not turned on. I'll just click there, okay? then i go back there you see that i'll find now even for concrete so depending on what you pick here you may see or may not see you know certain things so that one was was it two six okay i have to check it here all right we have two 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 six two six four hundred okay i think that's the one i just missed the the 300 but i'll select on it then click on apply then click on okay then i'll click on add and add it there okay i can I'll, i can rename i'm supposed to have 200 there but it's okay i'll add it there then change the color go there change it to let me pick a yellow color then click on okay okay apply okay as you can see 
this is how you create your filters now as i said you can use the filters to change the visibility graphics remember another way could be clicking right click and then going to override view by elements but this one it's difficult to start editing because it's more of manual but if you use filters for example if i want to, to maybe to turn off these bases i can just go to vg then go to filters i know it's this one and i'll just deactivate the you know the visibility okay then click on okay you see that the concrete base you know will simply disappear i'm just remaining with the reinforcement there but that one has disappeared so filters are very very good they are very it's very important that you understand filters i'll bring it back if i just want to change the transparency i can click there you know just pump it up like that okay apply it's back but you know it's transparent and you can use filters in this way and as i said you can use the filters for the doors for the windows just make sure that you go to the properties whatever you select go to the properties check the parameter that you are using here for example if i select you know that one there the off you know the strip footing i can check the parameter i was using a type name but you can even use the manufacturer you can use the comment you can use the description as you go inside the filter just pick that and you should be able to create your filters so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching make sure that you subscribe and like my videos